There's no question millions of people are helped by antidepressants and other psychiatric drugs every day. But all too often, the road to figuring out the right pill or cocktail of drugs that can bring relief is a difficult one. So the first question, is there a better way to prescribe psychiatric drugs? I want you to meet Kristen, who started suffering from depression when she was a teenager. She was so tortured by her negative thoughts, she actually tried to take her own life. Thank you for being here. Share your story. What happened? Yeah, so I knew when I was a senior in high school that I was destined for a mental health crisis. And I would have two mental health crises before the age of 30. The first of which was when I was a junior in college. Um, I was tortured by daily negative thoughts. I had suicidal thoughts, but I never acted on them. And then I was on an antidepressant that worked for me for about four years. And those were the four happiest, most stable years of my life. Mm -hmm. And then I decided that I didn't need the antidepressants anymore. So I talked to my doctor and I told him, I don't think I need them anymore. So he gave me a schedule to taper off the medication and I followed the schedule exactly. And then I started graduate school shortly after that and I began to have daily suicidal thoughts. Um, I was tortured by images of all different ways that I could end my suffering. Oh my. Did you ever act in any of these impulses? I did, yes. I was so tortured by these thoughts that I resorted to cutting and burning myself and I attempted suicide. I woke up one morning and I tried to electrocute myself in a bathtub. So how did you finally pull back from that abyss where you're trying to take your own life? Just trial and error on these different antidepressant, antipsychotic medications? Yes, yeah, so I had daily suicidal thoughts for about a year and a half. I saw over 20 different mental health professionals throughout that year. I tried over 15 different kinds of medications, including a lot of different antidepressants, until I finally met a doctor who told me exactly what was wrong with me. And just to bring everyone to the story, after a lot of this trial and error, that's, those are huge numbers of medications you have tried. Kristen tried a DNA test that looks at your mental health genetic markers. Listen, when I give you a blood pressure pill, I can tell pretty quickly if it works. Your blood pressure comes down, right? Your cholesterol medications, you can tell if they work or not. I get a blood test, I can tell. But with mental health issues, it's not so clear because you don't have a test that gives you that answer. But genetic testing offers us a huge change, everybody. It can dramatically alter the shotgun hit or miss approach we've been using. So what did your DNA test show? So my uh, genetic testing results indicated that I have two faulty genetic mechanisms that make it so that my brain does not produce adequate amounts of serotonin and my brain does not recycle serotonin properly. So actually without being on medication, my, the sort of baseline in my brain is actually a depressed state. When you use the, the, the genetic testing to predict which drugs would work, what kind of a benefit did you get? How did your mental health change? Oh, it absolutely saved my life. Um, with that information, I feel like I'm empowered with this information for the rest of my life. Once my doctor prescribed medication that specifically targeted those genetic deficits, I started to feel better within two weeks. Within two weeks? This is after spending a dozen years of your life trying to take your life at times. So this is a, you know, I mean, again, thank you for sharing this. This is a kind of case where we actually see how psychiatric drugs save a life. And that's important for everyone to understand. When used correctly, these are hugely powerful. When used incorrectly, bad stuff can happen. And I'm very happy that you're doing well. And I want to share with everybody how your life was saved because they can save others as well. There are lots of companies now that are making tests like this, genetic tests like the one that Kristen used. Uh, that, and this, her specific test is called the Genosept Assay by Genomind. And the Genosept Assay uh, is a cool idea. And the Vice President of Medical Affairs for the company, Dr. Dan Dow, is here. Explain to everybody what this test does. 
Sure. First, I'd like to thank Kristen for sharing the story. I mean, we hear these stories. We hear these stories uh, all the time from doctors and uh, patients who, have, who struggle finding the right antidepressant, and so we're glad uh, our test could help you and, and your doctor. So, um, a little bit about the test. It's a, it's a genetic test designed to match the right medication with the right person. Process is pretty simple. It's a cheek swab. So, patient um, swabs their um, cheek for about 30 seconds to a minute, mails that to our lab. The lab does the analysis, and in about three days, you get a report back which identifies uh, different genes which are associated with side effects to certain medications or overall response to certain medications. So just as, as an example, about 8% of the people in this room don't metabolize some of the really common antidepressants. And if you know that information ahead of time, you select a different type of antidepressant as opposed to the ones that you don't metabolize well. Yeah, that's that's... 8% right off the bat, but then the part that got my attention is if you're resistant like Kristen was, if you have to use a second medication, right, that only works 25% of the time. So imagine genetic testing, increasing the odds of getting it right from the start or getting it right if the first one doesn't work. You've got lots of opportunities. The only question for me is how expensive these things are and is it covered by insurance? Yeah, good question, and that depends, and it largely depends on insurance. Um, a lot of variability there depending on the plan and the state, et cetera. Um, what we're finding is that on average our patients are uh, paying about $300 for the test. Um, we, we also offer patients assistance programs, financial assistance, uh, to try to make it as affordable as possible. So more and more insurance companies are saying, I'd rather save Kristen's life or keep her out of the hospital for trying to commit suicide and spend the 300 bucks. So why shoot in the dark? We finally have information uh, that can help target this more effectively. We'll be right back.